Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to make this interesting uh, uh, eggs, circle stuff. It looks like a target or something like that. So yeah, before we do this, if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Okay, first thing we're going to do is uh, make sure you're on the uh, you're on the field. Deselect the stroke. Uh, if you got uh, something going on at the uh, 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 stroke, you got a color, you just click none. Click on the fill and uh, go with the color. I'm gonna choose some gray and uh, select uh, the ellipse tool. Usually it's on the rectangle tool, select the ellipse tool, press shift plus alt, create a circle, select the direct selection tool or press A, select this anchor point right here and click on delete, delete it, and go to the pathfinder and go to unite and unite it. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows, select Pathfinder. Usually this is not activated, so you can uh, do that. <coughs> now that we have this, uh, I actually need to create the, the lines also. So I'm going to go and select the black and select the rectangle tool also you can select the rectangle tool from here and may just make a black line this is not even black this is some dark gray ish uh just a second i gotta make it more darker okay there you go press and hold shift plus alt and drag it down until they intersect we're gonna re uh, recolor this to white i'm gonna select both uh Press and hold Alt, drag it, press also Shift so you can isolate it and drag it where they intersect. Now press Ctrl D, create some copies, <coughs> uh, select them all, right click, group, go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, usually it's not activated, go to Windows and select Symbols. Now you just need to drag it, click on this, drag it and drag in where the symbols are and click OK. I'm going to delete this one. We're going to go back to this half circle, what we created, and we're going to go to the effects, 3D and revolve. As you can see, it's right in the opposite side, it's revolving in the opposite, in the left edge. And we're going to click on the right edge. Click on the map art and of course, go to Invisible Geometry and select the lines, the symbol that you created. As you can see, the symbol is here and you just expand. I mean, you know, you know, just make it bigger and just cover the whole place. Or you can also click on Scale to Fit, click OK. <clears throat> and now we have this uh, linear globe. You also can move this so you can uh, look at that. I like this. I like how this looks. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to put this here. Create a new um, artboard. I'm going to leave this here. And uh, of course, uh, you if you decrease this, you know, it's going to create a less lines and it's going to look more cute. So yeah, there's like more stuff going on in here. And now it's gonna, you still need to expand, like make more longer the lines if you make them bigger. <clears throat> okay. After this also, you can do some other tricks. Uh, just press and hold shift and try to rotate. If you rotate in a specific angle, actually you're gonna create this. Another nice symbol. And of course you can uh, decrease the size of this and the same story applies here. It's going to add, remove or add more lines or remove lines and so on and so forth. There's like, there you go. I think, I don't know, not this, this is not good. I can add another one. There you go. There you go. So you have this, I can actually place it here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna show you how to make it so it, it won't uh, be editable again. Because right now we have just the half circle right here and this is non-touchable. I mean, you can't edit that part. You're gonna go to Object, Expand Appearance, 
<coughs> now we expand it, right click on group, right click on group, right click release clipping mask. And now we are left. Whoa. We are left with more stuff. Actually, we we are left with two circles. I didn't I didn't I didn't even try this. Anyways, I'm gonna ungroup it. Ungroup. And yeah, we are left with these, and you just need to unite these because we have these lines going on. So I'm gonna click on the unite, and the line is going to disappear. <clears throat> or you also can just select, press and hold the shift and select the black lines all over the place and just click unite for example this one is not working out so i gotta go to the anchor point delete anchor point tool click on this anchor point and there we go that still need to be corrected that's, that's a minor problem there i'm gonna correct it now actually I'm gonna go here, drag it there, and now it disappeared. I'm gonna do the same thing with the white, click along, along, press shift, click, 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 and click on unite. Something came on the top, as you can see here we got some more stuff going on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just delete this imperfection. Okay, I'm gonna put the white down because we got some imperfection going on. Now it's good, now it's good. And this is how you make it. You also can add some gradients. <clears throat> I th I'm thinking to add some gradients to the white because you anyways won't see it on the dark black. I'm gonna press on the gradient, add gradient and it looks more fancy. You can press the G and just uh, Pull this thing and it's just gonna edit, edit the gradients so I want more white and less shadow a little bit of shadow there you also can edit uh, the dark doing the same stuff with it um, let me check I'm gonna add a dark gray like this and here is going to be the black 100% black we want <clears throat> and I just gonna pull this diamond a little bit on this direction so it's gonna put more dark in this zone now this is more realistic we don't need this i'm gonna put this right here and this is the non-editable version and these are still editable so yeah this was the bonus you still can do this stuff it's a really nice symbol uh, you know this is more often found on the internet it's popular but anyways, this is it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos as well. And have a good day. Bye-bye.